The spokesperson of the Labour Party, Yenusa Tanko, has made fresh revelations concerning efforts to merge the NNPP with his party. In his interview on Arise News, Dr. Tanko said the issue of having a faction fraction within the Labour Party has been resolved. Making fresh revelations about the NNPP and Labour Party, Dr. Tanko said, what I can say at the moment is that those of us pushing these arrangements and talks are seriously working. I do not want to be specific at the moment. However, you can take it to the bank that we are focused on it. We realize that someone like Peter Obi, who is well grounded in the southern part of Nigeria, needs to work with other people who are also grounded in the north, especially Rabbi Musa Kwankwasu. He continued, these individuals have shown character, resilience, and determination. They have worked with the downtrodden, and I am uh, thinking Nigerians should support them if our efforts are successful. Dr. Tanko is also spokesperson for the National Consultative Forum. Hmm. Okay, well, so if you are working together, you think uh, it's because of uh, any council or whatever. So they will not zone the, this thing. Who is not going to be the president? Who is going to be the vice? Or you want uh, Peter B to go and be vice president to another, another. Now. It is better he run. If he fails, let him go and sit down. That is my opinion than to link himself with these people again. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Unless maybe you have a better option. If vice versa will be the, or the reverse will be the case. Okay. If I want so, we realize that this is South Town for equity, justice, and fairness. He will step down and vice will be after which comes Northern Town. He will which he will clinch top post, knowing fully well that Obi will deliver. Forget that tons. Power is taken. Obi has taken the bull step. Let's stop. Let's support him. It can only work if Kwanso drop his born to rule mentality and accept VP slots. Let's Obi pick a running mate in Southeast since the Igbo hates Awusa Fulani and Yoruba. No, the most be a must this must be a Yoruba man. You are sounding like somebody who loves Southeast so much. Nigerians wake up from your slumber. Your support for a bad leader because he's your tribe's man will not make him give you professional treatment. You and I buy from the same market. Mm -hmm. So nothing will change. That will make a lot of sense. I wish a successful imagine of Peter Obi and uh, Kwakwansu tickets. If the combination can go like this, you go Tiko. Even our common enemies will shiver. This is a welcome development the youth we, with PVC are waiting. It is a nice movement. You are making a point. Hope you people should be serious and not political talk. I feel like to start my own voting now because my blood they hurt. Kai Kai. I hope uh, Kwakwansu will vice will be. If not, let all man showcase their popularity at the poll. February 25th next year, let the world know who is who this time around. It is a good pairing. Labour Party is the way forward. We stand still. If it will be a big boost if the two pairs merge. If the two parties merge, it is better for Kwakwansu to be the vice president. Kwakwansu cannot beat Atiku. His performance will be like that of Lawan in APC primary. Okay. Obi followers will disappoint him if he foolishly accepts to become Kwankwaso vice. Bet me, these Fulanis will not want their brother to be Peter's vice. After disappointing him, you will know now turn around to blame Fulani just like APC and PDP primaries. Don't be afraid. Peter will never allow that. I don't even know what you people plan is, but is. But Obi is our president come 2023. Yes, we are We are all here. As we want to see what will happen at the end of the day. And I hope uh, uh, the Obi will not go and disappoint people. Uh -huh, because he should know that uh, the reason why people are supporting him is because of uh, his boost uh, leaving PDP in the first place. Now, everybody is dragging Peter Obi. The people are saying, oh, go back to PDP. Go and vice uh, Atiku. Go and vice. Why? If Atiku, Atiku is popular, why? Does he need any... Uh, anybody again to help him with the popularity he already has? I don't think so. I don't think so. They should just walk alone. Let everybody go and test their popularity. It is better like that. At the end of the day, all these politicians, they have nothing to lose. It is an ordinary man that we lose at the end of the day. Like somebody said, if 
Peter Obi fails or if he loses, it's not going to stop him from being rich, but it will, it will affect an average Nigerian on the streets. And likewise, the rest one. If they lose, if Tinubu loses today, it's not going to affect him. If uh, Atiku loses today, it's not going to affect him. Even uh, Kwakwanso, if he loses, even all those who have showcased themselves that they are flag bearer of uh, all those uh, other parties, even this man, Shore, if he loses, it's not going to affect him. So it is you and I that this whole thing we are faced. So we have to be careful. We have to be careful. Peter B cannot just uh, leave a PDP at the end of the day. He struggled to become a this thing, the flag bearer of labor, and people are now rooting for him. People are doing everything. So you think he's why is it that I think people saw Kwakwansu. People saw Kwakwansu now as a as a, a a presidential candidate of his party. Why is it that a lot of people are not uh, coming after him in the sense that supporting him, using their money to support him? Why is it that uh, it's not like that? Why is it not like that? So that is just my my own point. They would have gone to him and be supporting him. So if they think that because Obia is getting more popularity so that they will not uh, use the because of that, they will not want to be under anybody. Because if he's under anybody, just like uh, Oshibaju, is under Buhari and people cannot feel the impact. They are saying, oh, don't blame him. You know the position of a vice president. Sit down, look. Sit down, look. I think uh, that was what uh, Atiku was not com uh, comfortable with. They said uh, it was too forward because according to the way they have put the constitution, you have nothing to say. Just be there. And the man was restless. And he did what he did. And that, that was why Obasanjo did not like him. So, the position of vice president is a useless one. According to the Nigerian constitution, it takes them nowhere. It takes them nowhere. So, if Obi should just go and step down for Kwakwansu, he don't finish. He don't finish with that. <laughs> he don't finish with that. So... I think uh, they all know that Obi cannot go this far and go and be because Obi is more re acceptable in even everywhere. We are talking of people who know the right thing, who want the right thing for Nigeria. We are not talking of people who are just thinking about sentiments, about tribe and what have you or their religion. We are talking about people who know that if this man gets there, he will do the right thing. It's not good there to go and be stealing and be or trying to recoup what he has spent. He didn't spend anything. So that is just the way it is. Everybody should just be careful. So if Obi thinks that he wants to go and vice somebody, uh, he will not get the support again. He, he will just think that everybody will just scatter. It is better he contests alone in his Labour Party and fails honorably than to go and join uh, all those people. Because if you get it, nothing will happen. So guys, I leave your comment down there below and let's have your tea.